Welcome to Gyandhara People Teacher Online Study Point and today our topic is Audio Visual Aids in Educational Technology uh, In order to make a lesson interesting and comprehensible, it is necessary that students education should be related to their maximum senses or say their senses to a maximum extent and keeping that objective in view today Teaching aids are being used widely in all the classrooms and the objective of teaching aids is always to make sense of hearing and sight active so as to open the track for receiving knowledge. Though a teacher himself is a great uh, teaching aid as he simplifies a subject and tries to make understand that topic but he is not complete itself and that's where the roles comes of audio visual aids so that learning and teaching process will be called complete therefore the use of teaching aids is not essential but compulsory for a teacher so he can impart maximum knowledge of the topic to the students meaning of teaching aids now uh, in very simple language, teaching aids are those means by which can see by the eye, hear from the ear. And the processes which in, in which the senses of sight and hearing takes an active part are called teaching aids. Or you can say, uh, as per as the definition, it can be said that teaching aid is the material which help understanding the written oral content now Let's see the diagram. Is me, uh, kya aapko bata rahe hai ki there is a classification. Uh, there is a clarification with the help of audio visual aid. Suppose any kind of learning experience we give to the students. If, agar hum, if we directly use only the lecture method, it can be boring for the student as well as the learning experience in that process will not going to motivate it to a complete extent but if we give a stimulus and uh, uh, the audiovisual is, is, uh, aids will always stimulate the process and hence the learning experience will be better and it will motivate for getting more and more learning experience from the uh, teaching point of view to the students. So, the diagram itself says that the audiovisual aids used in teaching will give more clarification and act as a stimulus and gives much much learning experience and which motivates the student to study and get better learning experiences. So I hope the meaning of teaching aids is clear. There are different kinds of uh, definitions you can include in your notes. So uh, but uh, you can also include this diagram which exactly tell you what is the meaning of teaching aids. Now, what are the characteristics of audiovisual aids? So, uh, why we use teaching aids in our teaching? Because these are the points that it helps us learning the content permanent. If we relate anything anything abstract, uh, uh, abstract to concrete material it will help in learning permanent then the student interest will increase if we use the audiovisual aids in our class it will always decrease the oral lectures because if we can we are able to um, uh, explain something with uh, the ppts with the diagrams with the uh, projectors with different kinds of charts and posters it will definitely uh, in, uh, decrease the times 
and this this is our next point that it saves time then concrete the abstract object the imagination can be uh, you, you can say the curiosity of the uh, students for imagining the abstract object suppose uh, we are uh, taking a lecture on say uh, space satellite and we cannot bring space satellite in our classroom so we can use a model or a video or a ppt for that and it will concretize the object abstract abstract objects for the students now now the topic will get much more curious and there will be a topic curiosity it will produce a much much curious curiosity in the student so there is is inquiry for new topics is always awakened now the teaching aids will always provide a definite knowledge to you because by the use of that uh, that knowledge you can easily see the practical part of the content now by using the aids uh, teaching aids in the classroom the rate of retention will always increase there must be different language students in your class so it will definitely remove the language related difficulties suppose we want to explain uh, anything uh, tough to the students and uh, the students are of different backgrounds so they can easily see and understand by the using of audio visual aids what we are going to teach them and last and final one is it inculcate the power of observation in students the uh, uh, students will the develop a scientific aptitude and scientific attitude as well and they will remain active and they are able to learn the topic very well because a scientific attitude is inculcated inculcated as well as students will find themselves abler more resourceful more confident and how they work on the topic now what आर द एसेंशियल क्वालिटीज ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स मतलब लाइक आप कोई भी ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स आप यूज करना चाहते हो तो उनकी क्या क्या क्वालिटीज होनी चाहिए द फर्स्ट इज द राइट टाइप ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड शुड बी चूज इन फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग अ टॉपिक बिकॉज इट इज नॉट एट ऑल प्रॉपर टू चूज अ साइंस मॉडल फॉर टीचिंग कॉमर्स तो देर शुड बी एक्यूरेसी aids should be teaching accordingly whatever is taught so it should be according to subject now relevant a human heart should be used to teach a human heart if a frog heart is displayed in order to think all hearts function in a similar manner it anom it amounts to erroneous teaching therefore the quality of essential relevance relevancy is very important because it should be appropriate for content now realism realism is the audio visual aid should explain for used for explaining a process should be realistic it should it represent its 100% if it is not real the audio visual aid cannot be said to be proper so thoda bahut main maan sakti hu but isme realistic hi honi chahiye hum not related to fantasy matlab kuch bhi aisa nahi hona chahiye jo bahut zyada fantasy se ho साहो रियलिस्टिक ही चीजें उसमें दिखानी चाहिए इंटरेस्टिंग होना चाहिए स्टूडेंट्स को उनको उसको देखकर इंटरेस्ट आना चाहिए एडेप्टेबिलिटी होनी चाहिए एक ही आप जो आपका टीएलएम है या टीचिंग लर्निंग मटेरियल या एड्स है इन्हें डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप से भी आप यूज कर सकते हैं एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर आप आपने मान लो कि एक चार्ट दिखाया और उस चार्ट को इंग्लिश के लिए भी आप यूज कर सकते हैं एज वेल एज अगर आप उसको आ, किसी अदर सब्जेक्ट के लिए भी यूज करना यूज हो तो इस तरह का अगर आप एड यूज करते हैं तो वो ज्यादा बेहतर रहता है एंड नेक्स्ट इज इकोनॉमिकल इन टाइम टाइम सेविंग होना चाहिए कॉस्ट फ्रेंडली होना चाहिए एंड एवेबिलिटी ऑफ एड्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज अगर ऐसी क्वालिटी होगी तो एड्स यूज करने में ईजी होगा 
अगर बहुत टफ एड्स बना देंगे आप तो आपको उसको ढूंढने में उससे बनाने में बहुत एनर्जी और टाइम को खर्च करना पड़ेगा तो इजिली अवेलेबल भी चीजों से आप ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स को यूज करें तो दैट आर दीज आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स types of teaching aids so teaching aids have been divided into various types of uh, different classification first is if it is based on based on use of senses or so there are audio aids which we can hear visual aids which can we which we can see and audio visual aids in which we we can see as well as we can hear like i, I am taking the, the lecture now second is based on technology the software and hardware and this you can uh, see in my video software and hardware approach i will put up the link in the video now next is based on projections and there are different types of projected aids as well as non projected aids which we use in our teaching so these this is the classification of audio visual aids see uh, in audio visual aids we uh, use radio tape recorder microphones earphones amplifiers in visual aids there are two type projected and non projected projected aids like slides film strip transparencies silent films and non projected may there are charts posters graphs and planar graphs in audio visual aids we can see television video films uh, slide tape sound films and drawing exhibits models specimen booklets pamphlets flash cards in which we can teach iske sath sath there there can be trip hai na there should there can be exhibition museum visit So these, this is also a part of audio visual, audio visual aids. Uh, suppose हमें कोई चीज बोटेनिकल पढ़ानी है तो हम उन्हें बोटेनिकल गार्डन विजिट करा सकते हैं दैट कम्स ऑल्सो अंडर द पार्ट ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स वे आर टीचर इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल दैट थिंग्स इन द गार्डन सो दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन वेयर टू यूज ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स वाई देर इज अ नीड ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स तो वेन द ऑब्जेक्ट Uh, when the object to be shown cannot be brought in the classroom suppose we want to teach e for elephant so elephant cannot be brought in the classroom so we can put a picture of elephant a fast moving object example suppose you want to tell about aeroplanes you cannot bring aeroplane in the classroom you will put up the picture or video and anything so tiny object for which we can use microscope or whatever uh tiny object we cannot see uh, by our naked eyes so we use uh, diagrams of that not easily available objects for example old coins they are not available but we can create their dummies we can create their models and explain if we have to explain any kind of internal functions of the organism suppose we have to explain the mechanism of digestive system so uh, we can uh, use a model for digestive system and uh, distant object to be taught for um, suppose culture dress of different countries if we want to talk, uh, teach so we cannot bring that country here but we can uh, show different types of videos or we can put a fancy dress competition about culture and creed of different countries so here uh, these are the uh, points where we can use we should use the audio visual aids in our class teaching now there are precautions for choosing teaching aid according to student age just to the teaching aid should be according to students age and need in the classroom it should be relevant to the topic it should realize the learning objective in the class and the uh, teaching aid should be only those which arouse interest and make the student curious and uh, before using any kinds of teaching aids in the classroom all the guidelines carefully studied by the teacher it is very mandatory because if teacher don't know how to use that aid how he will he is going to teach in the classroom the teaching aid should be simple and adequate uh, relevant uh, as well and it should present the topic in the very very correct form and it should be equipped with the teaching values now here by teaching values it it means it should not be vulgar it should be uh, with the ethics of education
so i hope this topic is clear to you now and uh, i have given all the points you can write it down in your notes and thanks for watching yandhara please like share and subscribe